Good evening everybody tonight. I'm starting this episode here at the Mamalus Airbnb. An Airbnb that I've been wanting to check out and I'm finally here spending a night. Now we did check in. We're celebrating Marlene's birthday here tonight and we did check in but it's been a little bit of a cloudy day so I am not going to show you much this afternoon but we are going to go to the beach first and then go for dinner nearby and also tomorrow morning we do hope to get a better light where I can show you parts of the you know like the grounds they have here and more of our room which is the Casita Azul but they do have several other cabins and we're gonna have breakfast tomorrow uh, I do believe that we're still gonna do something also tonight later tonight like you know like walk around and take a look at the nice lighting that they might have let's start out with this one and we'll first uh, go to the beach and later on head on for the dinner So now we decided to come to the Mangal Halto, which is one of the nearest beaches here from the Mamalus. And this is the Mangal Halto Beach. One of my favorites, but today it's a little bit cloudy. We're gonna get in anyway and try to make the most out of it. But uh, it is a weekday, so it's pretty quiet. That's, that's the good news. Not very sunny today, is it? <laughs> a little bit cloudy, but... Looks a little bit different cold. today, but still better than the cold, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to take the old route. And probably swim from here? Or should we take the, the other one? Um, it ain't bad. This is good. Let's check the, the other one out. Now the water here is not so deep so if you are coming here with children it's perfect and over on that side if you are into snorkeling you can go check that, that side out however be just a little bit careful there are strong currents in this area so it's not per se a beginner's level snorkeling but very very beautiful out there what is the water? It's super good. <laughs> oh, it's super nice. You think so? It can be better. I'm being picky. <laughs> but over there, joking aside, over there it does look very nice and I do see some folks snorkeling. So it looks a little bit better. It is not raining today, but it does feel like it's gonna rain at some point. Maybe later tonight. And in case you're wondering about the name, uh, these are the mangroves and the Mangal Alto, that name comes from the mangroves. And these are the, you know, how they are growing here. It's one of those few trees that will grow both on land and in salt water in this case. Interesting to see and where the name also comes from this beach.
are here at the Marina Pirata. I do believe that this restaurant is like over 40 years old and it's situated at the end of the, or the start of the Spanish Lagoon, very close to the Mamelus Airbnb, as I said. And it's one of those classic seafood restaurants, almost like a hidden jam. Some folks do know about it, of course, but it's very, very nice. And the setting here at the pier in, uh, where are we? Uh, we are close to the Mangal Halto and at the Post Chiquito or Balashi area, actually. So we just made our order and I got the oyster soup for the entree, the appetizer I meant, and uh, <laughs> they, they threw out the water. So over here, let me show you first. You can see they turn on the lights and you can see some fish swimming here. Uh, I ordered the red snapper and you ordered the garlic shrimp. Garlic shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have some drinks. Cheers to your birthday. Thank you. Before the oyster soup, I wanted to show you guys that the fishing boats do get in here, so they do dock uh, back here somewhere. They got some like really, really fresh seafood here. I'm gonna go for the oyster soup, also one of my favorites here on the island. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to. But it's definitely good. Mm. Just have to stir it a little bit. It's definitely good. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this fresh fish and <laughs> it's pretty large actually it's not i don't usually eat it uh i have to admit but i did want to try it tonight i think it's gonna be interesting let's see how it goes check in first i always like to try first without the uh, Creole sauce. So I like to try it the fish itself. It's really good. So the fish uh, is very very fresh and as you can see it's very good. Now it is accompanied with fried plantain. You got the lemon right back there so you can put it on it. Small pieces of funchi. You got some vegetables, rice, and the small piece of pamba teeth. So very typical local dish. So guys, this is the swimming pool at night. Let's check it out.
very very cozy I love it and during the day we were swimming here briefly during the day you can see cactus all around it and at night it has the lights so this is a pretty nice area and I doubt you were able to see it but I was trying to film down there there are a lot of sitting areas also so they also have a kitchen that you can use like if you are bringing your own stuff you can use all of this and they do have the drinks and fridge barbecue everything you know stove uh, microwave coffee maker everything self-service good morning guys let me show you briefly the room so we have just prepared to go check out but i did promise to show you guys the room and uh, so it's not very big it's a, it's a cabin uh, but it is fairly nice uh, the bed was really good the air conditioning was really good the tv was not you know there are some channels but it's not that good to be honest uh, not a lot to choose from and the channels were like the basic cable but uh, you know you got the things uh the night stand we got the towel actually from the bathroom and let me take you now to check out the bathroom so you can see this is this is the cabin not too big oh there is one thing though i did want to show you it does have a fridge here so if you do have like your own beer your own drinks and stuff you can bring them here and oh, really <laughs> and <laughs> there is a sitting area a hammock that we actually did not uh like sleep in maybe marlene could good morning marlene good morning everybody <laughs> and as you can hear some construction and that was not all too nice to be honest uh the bathroom is over here let me turn on the light and yeah brief fairly basic bath not too big does come with shampoo so right next to the azul you got a like a swing swinging bed that you can use here they have a garden uh, let's check out on that side So they got some seashells, papaya trees, cactus, lots of cactus. I'm pretty sure that they left some of the original cactus here in the area. And a pretty nice sitting area. And at night, as I showed you, there, there are some lights, but not too bright for the camera, but certainly nice enough for you to enjoy the area, this place. So a lot of small areas around so this is the swimming pool there is someone uh, next to us so i'm trying to stay away for privacy but this is the swimming pool and we swam here last night it was very very good and from here you see the rest of the garden there's even a an outside shower so here you can shower before getting in the swimming pool and the other cabins in case you are wondering are these so these are different type of cabins that they have we're not allowed to go on that side because there are some other guests here in the hotel or at the airbnb here let me show you briefly how these beautiful garden beautiful flowers here and they all have like a name so this one is the fawny not sure about the blue and the purple one
so we decided to come and check out the donkey sanctuary that's situated very close to the B&B. I said Airbnb previously, but it's a B, it's a bed and breakfast. And uh, you are able to, hello fellows, fellows, fellas. How are you? No biting, please. He's scratching. But um, you can find the the uh, Mamalus on uh, Airbnb also, of course, and whoa, am I that scary? <laughs> so you can find it on the Airbnb site. You can find it also on, uh, I think, Booking and Expedia and all of those. And I think I stepped on some poop. <laughs> that, that is not good. That is not good, but we're going back and I'll clean it up, figure something out, and then uh, we'll go for the breakfast. So this one is the sitting area. Not too large because of, you know, like uh, there, is, there aren't too many rooms here and over here is the kitchen again they have like the different um, fridges breakfast uh, should be somewhere over here for us I do think that may have they may have them at the lobby they like breakfast now and some granola, blueberries, I think, and yogurt. Oh, that's good. So in case your breakfast is not included, you can have them. You can still pay them here. We are having pancakes and some eggs and some toast. Dutch style. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Uh, I hope that uh, give you an idea of one of those unique places to stay here. Airbnb style, uh, one of those places to stay here on Aruba. Uh, nothing further for this episode. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go for another piece first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alain eating the rice. How is the rice? Super good. I love it. <laughs> okay, don't doubt it anyway.